County Meath, Ireland. Rising above this region's lush fields, not far from the banks of the River Boyne, is one of the most mysterious ancient tombs in the world. New Grange. This massive stone structure has a diameter of 87 yards, or nearly the size of a football field. Newgrange is the envy of monuments all around the planet. The thing that people say when they come here is they're surprised how big it is. It is huge. It takes up over an acre of ground. And there is an estimated 200,000 tons of stone in the monument. According to archeological findings, Newgrange was built around the year 3200 BC, making it centuries older than both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Because New Grange is so ancient, there's still much that we don't know about the people who built this extraordinary tomb. Probably one of the most fascinating things about New Grange is the fact that it was built in pre-metal days, just as the Stone Age was kind of sort of coming to a close. And it's difficult to imagine how ancient people were able to assemble this massive monument, but they managed to do so. A lot of work went into the building of this monument, and it was all done with extreme precision. Inside, there are carved stones. And then you come into a chamber, which is quite roomy. So you have this cathedral-like feeling when you walk inside. New Grange is what archaeologists refer to as a passage tomb. It has a passage leading into the interior. And in that interior, human bones have generally been found in different quantities. There are human remains in these places, but the most common um, burial practice around this time was cremation. So we find most people would be cremated and then in turn. In the traditional Irish folklore that dates way, way back, the other world of the dead, it sort of overlapped with our own. So the idea is that these sites would sort of allow for this passage between the realm of the dead and the realm of the living. On the back recess of the inner chamber, there is a tri-spiral. The most common interpretation that people come up with is that it represents this constant cycle of renewal and regeneration. On a spiritual level, it may promise rebirth for the spirits of the dead. The tri-spiral is unique to Newgrange, and it's also found on the entrance stone and throughout the tomb. Archaeologists who have studied Newgrange have theorized that this ancient tomb was intended to serve a profound and mystical purpose. And as evidence, they point to a curious element of its design that is visible only one day a year. Newgrange is unusual in that it has a very special aperture or opening above the entrance. On the day of winter solstice, this glimmering golden beam of sunlight enters there and it pierces the darkness. When the sun rises at winter solstice, flight hits the chamber for precisely 17 minutes. And some even speculate that the spirits would have used the light to leave the burial chamber and go and join the deities. Did the builders of New Grange specifically design it to be a gateway into the afterlife? Some archaeologists believe that the answer is yes. And they also claim that New Grange was built to allow those who stood within its inner chamber to communicate directly with the dead. In the case of New Grange, the notion of the sunbeam drawing out the souls of the deceased and, and leading them to that other world is not just a one-way ticket. It was a portal between worlds. Were the people inside there, the priests, for instance, the Druids, were they in contact with the ancestors who'd gone before? The builders of the monument have created a space 
which is separate, which is a world for the dead. There is always a feeling that this is a house for the spirits, where consulting with the ancestors, asking advice from the ancestors would have happened 5,000 years ago, which is extraordinary. Was Newgrange constructed to be not only a tomb, but also a place where the living communicated with the dead? It's an intriguing theory, which is why archaeologists continue to study Newgrange in the hope of one day unraveling all of its mysteries.